in Jesus' name. So it's not by my might or my power, because I don't have any <laughs> today, at least. But it's in the name of Jesus, and it's a good thing. We must decrease so that he can increase in our lives. We need to get rid of the pride of doubt and unbelief in our lives. Do you know that doubt and unbelief is pride? Do you know that fear is pride? Okay, we need to get rid of those things in our lives today so that we can really become a free spirit. And a free spirit really contacts the Spirit of God. You know, when you just open to receive from God, when you get your reasoning mind to stop reasoning, when, you know, don't try and figure God out. You can't figure him out. He's already done it for us. He's waiting for us to appropriate his word in our hearts. He's waiting for us to really just believe. Hallelujah. He hasn't changed. He's going to continue to heal us, you know, as he did yesterday. He'll do it today and he'll continue to heal us uh, until he comes back again. And uh, that's what's so wonderful about, about our Lord. He, pray, he paid an awesome price for us upon Calvary, really. And when the multitudes came to him, he healed all of them. He healed all of them. And friends, we need to stop these thoughts now of he'll be coming around the mountain when he comes. As if it's like, you know, just... I, I don't think the Lord will heal me today, but I think that perhaps... In two or three weeks' time, he'll heal me. Okay, well, we limit God. God wants you to receive your healing today. Now is the day of salvation, all right? Now is the day of healing. By his stripes, you already are healed. Okay, so now is the acceptable time. Think about the scripture in Mark 9, verses 23. It says that everything is possible for him who? believes. Yep. So it takes a level of believing to receive as well. Think about that lady with the issue of blood. There were thousands of people around Jesus on that day, but she had that level of faith to receive. She just knew that if she touched the hem of his garment, that she would be healed. But what about those other people? Do we ever discuss the other people who were actually around nudging him at that time? But she drew off of the anointing and she received. And he said, lady, your faith has made you whole. Some people think that it doesn't take any faith to receive, but it does. It takes faith for me to pray for you, but it takes faith for you to receive it as well. Hallelujah. Okay, so we have a powerful gospel. And um, we need to begin to believe the word and act upon the word. So, you know, the New Testament, it doesn't put healing in the future. Uh, just like we were discussing about coming around the mountain when he comes, you know. We need to stop walking around that mountain um, just like the Israelites did. We need to stop doing that, really, and just begin to receive from God, okay? Um, because he says, there we go, by whose stripes you were healed, and that is done. He's not going to get back up on the cross again and die for us again because it is finished. He died for us once and for all, uh, and so often we try to blame God. You know, God, why did you do this to me? But God didn't do it. He's not the one who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He's the one who comes for the abundant life. Okay, we all are work in progress. Uh, none of us have arrived. None of us will ever arrive while we're here, the side of heaven. But we can surely take the word of God and begin to appropriate it in our lives so that we can live this abundant life that he wants us to live here. Amen? Let me say that again. Prayer must always be accompanied by faith. Okay. So often we pray, but we don't believe. In fact, the Lord came to me in a vision. I think it was on about Wednesday. And uh, I was praying for something. I was asking the Lord for something. And he said, 
how can you expect, he wrote this out in a vision to me, okay, how can you expect to receive a miracle expecting defeat at the same time? How can you expect to receive a miracle from God when your thought process basically is thinking, I won't receive it? Only faith pleases God. How amazing is that? You know, so often we want God to really work within our lives, but deep down in our heart, we don't believe he'll do it for us. Okay, but remember, Hebrews 11 verse 6, take it down, read Hebrews 11 today. If you read anything else today, Hebrews 11, incredible, incredible. Okay, praise the Lord. And there it is, Amos 3 verses 3, can two walk together unless they are agreed? So important that we need to stand on the word of God no matter, faith is not a feeling, it's a believing, okay? So we believe, when we pray, we believe, we believe at that point that we've received no matter how different we feel, okay? Hallelujah. And then somebody with like a lot of pain in their breasts, okay? Is it you? Okay. <laughs> You're the one with the breast pain. Yes. Okay. How did you know? How did I know? Yes. The Lord. Okay. Okay. Go. There they go. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll catch you. Don't worry. Don't worry. In Jesus' name, get out. Get out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. How's your mum? She's not well. She's not well. Okay. All right. Okay. She also had a similar problem. Yes. Okay. All right. Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, I command those generational curses to be broken in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I break those generational curses over her and her mother in the name of Jesus. How are your dreams? Okay. 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 All right. Uh, do you uh, have like a man coming to you in your dreams? Sometimes. Yes. Yes. Okay. Father, in Jesus' name, I rebuke that spiritual husband. I command it out right now. In Jesus' name. Come out of her right now. Your spiritual husband, come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. You see, we've nailed it at the root. Now she's starting to manifest, okay? You spiritual husband, get out of her. Get out of her. Come out. Out. I break your authority right now. I command you to loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Out. Get out. Get out right now. I command you, familiar spirit. Go. Go. Get out. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Name of Jesus. Come out. Unclean spirits, come out. Out. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Get out of her in Jesus' name. Spirits operating in her head. Get out. Get out. 
Get out. Get out. Get out. Every last one of you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So those, those spirits, the spirits are actually in you. All right. Are you okay? I just want to get them all out, okay? So that your family can prosper, okay? Are you okay? All right. Don't worry. Right now, you familiar spirits, go. Go. Get out. Get out. Go. 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 Every last one. Go. Go. Been having pain in your stomach, yeah. lots of pain, like sharp pains, mm. and then they go all the way down your leg. Yes. Oh. The Lord just opens our eyes to see things, you know, and it's not by might <laughs> or power. <laughs> Eugene knows I've got none of that today. <laughs> all right, all right, you unclean spirits, looser. You unclean spirits, go, 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 unclean, go, now, in Jesus' name. Get out, you unclean spirits, get out of the stomach, go. Sciatica, get out of her right now, go, get out. Get out. Go, go. In Jesus' name, get out. Get out of her. Get out of her right now. Loose her, every last one of you. <sighs> you demons causing pain, sickness, come out. Get out of her chest. Thank you, Jesus. Good stuff, eh? You see, we don't rejoice that the demons submit to us. We rejoice that our names are written in heaven. Amen. Come out, you spirit of witchcraft. Loose her. Loose her. Get out of her back. Go. Go, go, go. You have no authority in this body anymore. Now get out. Get out. Anybody ever been to a syngoma in your family? Who? Okay. Because there's a curse there that needs to go. Just come forward a bit. There's a curse there. Um, you say your brother went. Oh, your grandfather. Oh, okay. Okay. But they put a curse on you. Okay. And that's, that's what's happening in, in your family. That's why everything is so scattered. Okay. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Witchcraft. Black magic. Go. Spirits coming through that Sangoma. Go! Go! Get out! Get out, you devils! Every last one!
right now in Jesus name I command you I command you right now to go get out of her right now get out of her right now get out of her go 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 I command you right now loose her loose her loose her loose her yes thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Lord hallelujah just just hold my hand okay thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Lord hallelujah thank you Jesus God's name thank you Lord Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Go. Every last one of you, come out. Unclean spirits, go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Every unclean spirit, go. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I speak the fire of God to flow in and through him, Lord. I anoint these hands right now to heal in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.